Hi, I'm Nancy Mahoney and welcome to Quilt Week. Today I'm going to show you some cutting tips and I'm going to show you how to cut straight strips. And it all starts with lining up your fabric. Most of the fabric when it comes off the bolt is going to have salvages that are not evenly aligned. And you can see these are not aligned. That's the way that it came off the bolt. So the first thing I do is I press my fabrics. And once I've pressed it, I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to line those selvages until the fold, there's not any wrinkles in the fold. And if you look at this, it's pretty good. If I was to move it over a little bit, you can see there's a wrinkle there. And that's what I want to avoid. I don't want a wrinkle like that. I'm going to get my fingers in there and I'm going to move those fabrics back and forth until it's nice and smooth and the, and the selvages are aligned. And if I need to, I'm just going to move it over until I have my selvages aligned. Sometimes when you lay it down, it moves again. And so don't start cutting until everything's lined up. And I'm just going to fold that over a little bit so I can move it over on my mat. Now, most of us are not able to move around our table. I actually can at home, but I'm going to show you a trick for doing that. So if you can't move around your table, that you'll, I'm going to show you how to do, to do something else. So I'm going to lay my first ruler on the fold line, and I'm going to put a line on my ruler on, on that fold line. And I want to make sure when I do that, that I have fabric all the way along the ruler that extends beyond the ruler. Then I'm going to use a second ruler, and I'm going to place that up against the first ruler and abut those two rulers and move the first ruler out of the way. Now it's really important that you have a firm hold on your ruler and you hold it down really tightly. So I'm going to start cutting and I'm going to cut up to where my fingers are and then I'm going to walk my hand up. And I'm going to cut up to my hand again and then I'm going to walk my hand up again until I get all the way to the top. I'm just going to do like a little inch, like a worm, inching his way up the ruler. And now that I've done that cleanup cut, I have a slight nick in my blade, but we'll just work with that. That's my cleanup cut. So once I've done the cleanup cut, I'm now going to just move to using one ruler. And if I wanted to cut two and a half inch wide strips, I'm going to line up the two and a half inch line on the ruler with, the, with my newly cut edge, and again, a line on the ruler with the fold. So I'm having a fold and the long edge so that I know that I'm square. Again, I'm going to hold the ruler down. Now, if you have trouble with your ruler moving, try putting your little finger off over the edge, and it works better if it's a little bit narrower ruler, but I do that all the time. If my ruler is trying to twist a little bit, I just hold it in place with my little finger. And I'm going to cut, move up to my hand, move my hand up, hold my ruler in place. Always keep your fingers behind the edge of your ruler. You don't ever want to risk cutting yourself. And I'm cutting all the way through. So now I have my two, inch wide, two and a half inch wide strip. If you think you need, sometimes when you think you need a new blade, it's your mat. If your mat has a lot of grooves in it, you probably need a new mat rather than a new blade. So th keep that in mind that it may be the mat rather than the ruler. So here's my strip lined up, and if I'm going to cut squares or rectangles, the first thing I'm going to do is a cleanup cut because I want to cut off the salvages. You don't ever want to use the salvages in your project. And you know, there's three important parts of having precise piecing. One is that you're cutting your pieces accurately. Two is that you're sewing accurately with a quarter inch seam allowance. And the third is pressing accurately. So it all starts with your cutting. So to make a cleanup cut, again, I would use two rulers. And I'm going to cut off those salvages because the salvages have, are woven so that they're a tighter weave. And so you want to make sure you cut those off. And you'll notice every time I set down my cutter, I've closed the blade. And I remind people about that in class all the time. If you set down your cutter, close the blade. So I open my blade, I make my cleanup cut, and then I'm going to close my blade so I can set it down and move my rulers out of place. And if this is a two and a half by a four and a half inch, 
I'm going to line up with the newly cut edge and a straight line on the ruler along the top of the strip. And then I'm going to cut my pieces and I would move over and cut the next piece. So I hope you've enjoyed my tip and I hope it helps you improve the accuracy of your piecing. So I look forward to seeing you at Quilt Week. <laughs>